This is a cheese cutting board. It's made with edge grain, so it's a lot easier to make than end grain cutting boards. Plus, it's a great opportunity to use some exotic lumber. I use cherry, and then this redwood is paduk. Padok. Paduk? Paddock. I think it's paddock. Pad. P A D A paduk. Paddock. Great Christmas present, and there's enough time you can make it for Thanksgiving if you like. You may remember this end grain cutting board I made a couple of years ago. It's extremely durable. I use it every day. The surface that you see here is all made up of the ends of boards rather than the face or the edge. The advantage to that is that with the fibers of the wood running down this way, as you strike it with a knife, it's less likely to dull the blade as well as any scratches that are on here pretty much just heal themselves. The drawback is that in grain cutting boards are much more labor intensive to make. A cheese cutting board is something that's gonna take a lot less abuse and I'm certainly not gonna be using it every day. So for this project, I'm gonna use the edges of these boards to make up the surface. The width of these strips determines the thickness of the cutting board. I'm making mine about an inch and a quarter. I'm gluing these strips together with wood glue. Make sure you get glue spread evenly all over the board. Don't miss any spots. One of the advantages to using a bunch of strips like this rather than just one big piece of wood is that it's less likely to warp. I haven't tightened it down completely yet because I want to put these calls on. These are just two boards that I've put some packing tape on it so they won't stick to the wood and this will help keep it all flat. I'm attaching this cutting template with some spray adhesive to a scrap piece of hardboard. The nice thing about using the edge grain is that I can sand off this glue real quick and then I can run this through my planer. I made this board big enough so that I can screw this template directly onto it. On my router I've got this guide bushing and I've got a bullnose bit. That bushing is just going to ride along this template and make the cut. Now I can just hog out this center part. Now I'll use my bandsaw to cut out the whole shape. Now I've got my router back in the router table and I'm gonna round over all of the edges with a quarter inch round over bit. I'm gonna sand this down to 220 grit. And I'm just gonna finish this with a coat of mineral oil. If you'd like to make your own, check in the description. I've got a free cutting template you can download. You guys know that audible.com is a sponsor of the show and I'm thrilled to have them on board. And I had actually written up a little script I was going to use this week. I was gonna get all professional with it. But as I'm sitting here, I was thinking, you know, really all I wanna do is just talk to you about audible.com for just a few seconds because I really do think it's a pretty cool system. Right now I'm listening to How Music Works by David Byrne. You may know him from The Talking Heads, but he's done so much other stuff too. He talks a lot about kind of the philosophy of music, the history of music, and about the music business itself. It's just a fascinating read. It got me thinking about audible.com and how it's kind of changed the way I work. And for woodworkers, it's great because I can just put on my headphones. It blocks out the saw sounds. I can listen to the book being read to me. Plus they have daily deals. You know what today's daily deal is? It's perfectly timed. It's in the Plex. It's all about Google. <laughs> Don't forget, you can get a free book. All you got to do is go to audible.com forward slash woodworking. And that's my little area and you'll be able to download whatever you like. I know you're faced with lots of viewing choices on YouTube, so I really appreciate you watching Woodworking for Mere Mortals. <laughs> Don't forget, I've got new woodworking videos every Friday. Be sure and subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on any of them. And also check in the description for links to my social media, Facebook, Twitter, <laughs> Google+. <laughs> 
And if you're a super fan of the show, don't forget you can support me over on subbable.com. I really appreciate all of you who have been helping me out on that site. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.